Hello everybody, it's Potato from Potato Productions here on the Mineplex server with Fastful Pitcher and then today I'm going to be showing you how to get the most treasure shards by based on the best game to play on Mineplex. Now different games will give you different amounts of treasure shards depending on how you do. So what we did is we set up an experiment. It, it was Public Static, Fastful Pitcher and I. We went through and played every single game and how we did this is we wanted to figure out what game gives you the most treasure shards in the least amount of time. So we did, we added up all the treasure shards that all three of us earned and gems. So either one, it works for either one of those because they're both um, equal. And we, so we added up all of those and then divided it by the total time played. So total number of gems or treasure shards divided by the total number of time. And that gave us a ratio of treasure shards per minute or gems per minute and that's what we found so here let me show you guys what we found starting from the worst going to the best so the worst I have here is um, there's a few things that are tied for worst uh, castle siege and wizards wizards because there was it literally gives you almost no gems or no treasure shards and castle siege was bad also because the wait is too long if you've ever played castle siege before it takes forever to find a game so that's why i don't recommend that one next up is speed builders with 1.1 gems or treasure shards per minute not very much skyfall is next with 1.3 gems or treasure shards per minute and after that, we have Sky Wars, which almost doubles that at 2.2 gems or treasure shards per minute. And next is Survival Games at 2.9, followed by Draw My Thing, also at 2.9, so they are the same thing basically. Bridges, 3.3, even higher. Mind Strike, 3.8. Gladiators, 4.2. Master Builders, 4.7. Micro Battles is 4.9, Dominate is 6.2, One in the Quiver is slightly higher at 6.3, Turf Wars was 6.4, Sheep Quest is 6.7, Super Smash Mobs is 6.9. I thought that would be a lot higher, a lot of people have said that's a good game, but um, it ended up being just about average in the middle of the pack. Capture the Flag 7.6, Death Tag 7.7, .7, Paintball 8, Snake 8.2, uh, I expected that one to do well, it's a quick game and if you're decent at it you're gonna get them out of treasure shards. Block Hunt, this is where we start to get to the top games. Block Hunt is at 9.6, that's if you are using your Meow and launching fireworks the entire time set gives you treasure shards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, play the game in your C. Dragons is at 9.8 gems per minute, slightly higher than Block Hunt. Team Deathmatch, it jumps all the way up to 11.8. Dragon Escape, this is our number two. Dragon Escape is at 13.3 treasure shards or gems per minute. And the number one is Bomb Lobbers at 17.5 gems per minute. We, we played it a bunch of times to test it out. We thought we messed something up, but actually that's what it is. We, we tested it out, that's that's what it is, you just have to be decent at it. Now remember, our top games here um, that are best for getting gems or treasure shards are Bomb Lobbers, then Dragon Escape, then Team Deathmatch, then Dragons, then Block Hunt. So th that's five games, again, Bomb Lobbers, Dragon Escape, Team Deathmatch, Dragons, or Block Hunt. So basically, um, because it would, you'll get more gems and more treasure shards depending on how well you are, I would... I'd recommend just choosing one of those top five games that you're good at and that you have fun with and then just practicing and playing that. Or uh, the second thing to choose between those top five is if there is a treasure shard amplifier it will give you two times the treasure shards. So for example, if there's a two times treasure shard amplifier on Dragon Escape, you wouldn't, you wouldn't anymore get 13.3 treasure shards or gems per minute. You would get 20... 6.6 .6 treasure shards or gem treasure shards per minute so choose either one out of the top five ones you're good at or ones that have a tre two times treasure shard amplifier and that's a great way to get treasure shards and gems very quickly on mineplex and um also i'm gonna be doing a video pretty
pretty soon about other ways to get treasure shards. There are a few other ways. I won't mention them now because I'm going to make a whole nother video for that. I'm looking forward to it. If you guys want to see it, subscribe. Don't be a hater. Be a potato. And um, remember, a potato day keeps the creeper away. Tater, tater. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Bye.